if you wish to troubleshoot a virtual machine linux virtual machine which is hosted on the cloud environment troubleshoot in the sense um, if booting doesn't happen some uh, file corruption has happened then it is possible to do the troubleshooting uh, with the cloud virtual environment whereas in case of standalone environment it's always difficult you can check how the uh, booting process happens and where it is erroring out so you can do a kind of a troubleshooting that is possible uh, with a cloud instance because you are trying to it is just like connecting from a different um, environment into the cloud virtual machine and viewing what's happening during the process of booting or during the process of stopping the instance so in a way even for a from a learning perspective it could be useful to know what's happening what are the commands which gets executed during uh, stopping an instance or uh, booting an instance so in this uh, demonstration i will show you how that can be done so i have two instances running so for example let me um, show you the first instance um, so this is the first instance up and running in my oracle cloud environment so go over here come to the bottom uh, console connection so um, click on that console connection it will give you um, you need to create a local connection so create a local connection so i mean uh, click on that and this is where uh, you need to understand how uh, you create an instance in this video i'm not going to show how you create an instance but generally if you are using a cloud instance you have a key pair ssh key pair is needed so otherwise yeah you can generate and then save a public and private key or if you have a key pair uh, that is public private key you can just paste the public key this is what we are going to do save the public key and uh, to you can if you already have a public key uh, get it from uh, the directory change directory uh, dot ssh uh, ls minus l and um, this is my public key so that is id uh, underscore rsa dot pub so what i need to do is uh, i need to copy paste the entire string so copy and then uh, i got to paste it over here so once you paste it um, yeah create a console connection so this will create a console connection it will take few minutes to have the console connection up and running so wait for that so it will turn active from creating yes it has turned active and now you can connect to the this um, console so for that uh, what you need to do is uh, if you click on this uh, icon over here uh, copy serial console connection to linux unix that is what i am going to have so copy it and then come to the cloud shell and then um, paste it over here so once um, you paste it the connection will get established so it is not just like any of the um, ssh so it is just now if you look at it it is just uh, because you have uh, the instance up and running you will not see any of the activities over here so now what we'll do is uh, we will stop this instance once you stop this instance you will have um, the information um, detailed information what is happening um, inside the computer you'll be able to visualize that is the linux instance you'll be able to visualize so what we will do is uh, instead of uh, uh, we'll go over here and stop it so click on stop and you want to stop the instance look out for the monitor over here stop the instance and one i mean uh, what i will do is i will maximize also so that um, you will see what's happening so 
so here it here is what it is the details um, started to show plymouth power off screen stopping um, uh, unmounted run user zero stopped abrt automated bug reporting tool cloud for the management and monitoring so all this um, all this is getting displayed and you can always uh, look at it what's happening unmounted stopped target so if you want uh, if you are knowledgeable enough on the technical side so you can understand the um, process of stopping what has happened and finally power down has come and if you now um, let me minimize it then it shows stopped so let me again yeah it is stopped now if i want to restart it uh, then instead of uh, all this stop it will you'll see that everything is getting restarted so we'll now restart the same uh, virtual machine cloud virtual machine and see what happens so i'll make it uh, yeah this is better once uh, I start it maybe I'll maximize it so start so starting now you'll see uh, the script um, it'll it'll uh, start yeah it is uh, clearing the screen and you will get uh, all the information so Linux Oracle Linux server and the selected entry will be started automatically in two seconds one second and it is getting started so you'll see all the uh, script it will provide you with all the scripts starting started you dev started you dev um, devices mounted configuration files uh, close you dev kernel so so now what are all the process which happens so all this uh, will be uh, listed over here so green says all are okay and uh, if you look at it certain process have failed but no major impacts so this is how i mean uh, with the cloud environment virtual environment yes it's also um, quite handy to troubleshoot uh, the instance also like you uh, i mean when you start the instance if there is a problem you can troubleshoot with through the console connection I hope uh, you found this video useful. Thank you and please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks and all the best.